Welcome back, my friendly friends, to more Persona 5 Tactica. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we started our infiltration to try to rescue some of our friends, and now we're just gonna start the battle. Hmm, defeat all enemies. Okay. So I'm not sure. Let's continue the attack. Not so fast. It's not always the best idea to charge straight into battle. If you stand still and focus, you might find that there's more than one way to win a fight. Okay, so this is gonna be our bonus for ending our turn without doing anything then. Huh? Really? Just like that? Hmm. For someone who was leading the rebellion before we came along, she doesn't really seem to be... Well, maybe we're just that much better at fighting than she is. Mm. Try it for yourself. Don't attack and see what happens. Uh. Oh, we have to move there first. Okay. All right. Let's move here. That. Then right there. End your turn to focus your energy. Okay, so we got back two SP for that then. Or does it increase our defense, too? I feel like... My focus has sharpened. Huh? You're emitting some kind of aura! <laughs> Nothing can stop me now! Here I go! So... You knocked down that enemy even though they were in cover? Whoa, that was not what I was expecting. Whew. So, something like that? What the heck kind of focusing are you doing? I'm pretty sure that's a trick only you can do. Success. Glad to be of use. Count on me to use this skill from now on, too. I'm counting on you. We all have different abilities when we focus. Use them wisely, everyone! So, charge. When a party member ends their turn without attacking, they become charged, enhancing their abilities. The specific abilities that are enhanced differ for each unit. For example, when Arena is charged, she can down targets that are hiding behind cover with her ranged weapons. Uh, unlocked charge in the skill tree. So now she's got a one more, and okay, cool, so we will always be able- oh. It'll show us this, but we probably won't be able to get close enough. Alright, so let's just down. We can't- We can't get Buddy Boy? Hmm. Where do we have to- Okay, we can triple threat him, but... Is it... Well, let's just get it. Because, I, I mean, we might as well, right? If we can. No. Yeah, now we've knocked him out. Uh, let's actually do Morgana. Morgana's gonna be able to persona this guy into the other one. Time for my persona! Yeah. All right. Or he was not able to do that, actually. Okay. So it's gonna be up to us to Aha them both. And then with this, we're going to be able to triple threat. We should be able to. Uh, we cannot. I wonder if it's because they don't... Uh, well, whatever. Let's just position... We'll set ourselves up to be able to do that next turn then. What if we... Persona! 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> Another one more. Well, we can't keep doing that. Wait, what? Looks like there are still more enemies around. We've got some distance between us, so how do you want to take this? Let's see, in times like these, stand still and focus, right? Mm. You're a fast learner. Give him a nice surprise. I understand. Got it. Focus your strength and smash their face into the ground. Uh... So, we have to... No, we can gun him. Alright, so in this case, fire on him. Okay, we took a little bit of hate, though. Ooh, more than a little bit. But it's all golden. Uh, we are too far... We'll fire on this guy. Or should I have ended my turn? Wait, I thought we only get that if we end our turn without doing anything. Maybe, okay, they're charged because they didn't act. I'm confusing that with that skill that we uh, picked up. So what is... Morgana's charge. Is there any indication as to what it actually will be? Hmm. Okay. That'll knock. We want to act right now because we are charged. Ooh. We probably should have, uh. Can we not? We can't get that dude. Alright, well, whatever. Okay, so there's the triple threat. Yeah, let's light everybody up. Oh, the enemy wasn't downed. I forgot that quickly. That's why. All right. Uh, let's end our turn without doing anything. We haven't figured out what Morgana's charge bonus is, but... Turns left for award one. All right, we got to beat him this turn. Uh, we might just have to go crazy with it. Rather than trying to be fancy. All right, so this guy. Arena. Won't be able to hit him unless Morgana Leave it to me. personas him. Persona. Yeah. Okay. I think this'll down. Alright, just barely. And then a triple threat. Okay, cool. Well, that worked out just fine. It was a little touch and go there, but we're getting used to things. Slowly but surely. I don't know why she thinks that. We cleared everything out. We 100%ed that map. It probably could have gone a little quicker, but still. All right. 
Enemy down! We're doing great so far! Ah. Yeah, but security's going to get a lot tighter from here on. We'll need to be extra careful going forward. Hmm. Roger that! So, who's up next on the shopping block? It appears this area is free of guards. Let's keep moving. Okay, it's gonna be the, the sub-boss of this area, I'm sure. Hmm. What's wrong? Everything seems to be going well enough, considering. It's just... This place is guarded pretty well. So why haven't we heard any alarms yet? Are we being lured in? Giving a, uh, given a false sense of security or something like that? Yeah, that's fishy. You mean... This could be a trap? Yeah, something's off here. Our work might get a lot tougher real soon. We're gonna probably end up going against a bunch of Revengers or something. No use worrying over it now. All we can do is keep going. Alright, let's see if I'm right or not. I'm probably right. Yep. There can't be much further to go. It's so quiet in here, it's creepy. Uh, in there! Uh... It's some guy. We've come to save you. You've come to what? This man isn't a phantom thief? Never seen him before, my friggin'. Do you even recognize him? No. Well, in that case, just who did we free? So I'm guessing this is gonna be this game, Zenkichi. Hmm? I thought the others were being held here. Where have I seen this guy before? Is he wearing just one glove or is his hand just white? We did we see him on TV? I guess we saw him on TV. I don't remember that. On TV? Oh, right. The politician that went missing. Oh, okay. I do vaguely remember that. It's Kasukabe or something, right? Wow. This guy looks so generic. Um, yes. I'm Toshiro Kasukabe. Uh, got yourself busted, huh? So it seems. I'm guessing you're not aligned with the soldiers from earlier, are you? So he is wearing one glove. <sighs> I don't get it. Just what is happening here? He just looks like some guy. But I guess, uh, I guess Arena has enough going on in her design for the both of them, I guess. Finding myself in this bizarre world. Terrible monsters. Then I get rescued by a magician looking team with a bizarre cat mascot. Is something wrong with me? When did I even get here? He's muttering to himself like a loon. But at least he doesn't seem brainwashed by Marie. Actually, that's the weirdest part about him. How do you get here but not end up brainwashed? And let's see if we can help him. Maybe he has some useful intel for us. Well, we certainly can't just leave him here to rot. That settles it. We're gonna help you escape this prison. Something tells me this guy is not gonna end up being a party member. He just doesn't have that... He doesn't have that look about him like Zenkichi did. I don't know who you people are, but I would definitely like to get out of here. I suggest we make our way out before those terrible girls come back. Terrible girls? Is he talking about An and Makoto? Terrible girls? Yes. They have been guarding this prison until very recently. I promise you, they are not to be trifled with. I suggest avoiding them at any cost. Especially the girl with the whip and the brazen leather outfit. She's the scariest one, by far. Yeah, he's talking about On. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have a feeling we know just who he's talking about. Oh my. Just where do you four think you're going? Are we gonna have to? I wasn't expecting to face off against An as the sub boss of this place, but it'll give us a preview as to what she can do, I guess. How many times do I have to remind you? You belong right here. Let this do whip girl! Listen, you must not provoke her. If you do, she won't hold back. It sounds like he's speaking from experience. I'll just keep quiet. They're both far too dangerous to fight. Who's the who's the other one? Don't speak to them. Just figure out how to get out of here and take me with you. Oh, quit babbling, you pathetic coward. Did you really not get the whining whipped out of you last time? Dang, she was giving him the business. Who is she talking? They must still be brainwashed by Maria. Brainwashed? How dare you equate my handiwork to something so common as cleaning? Hmm. What is? So, I'm guessing this is going to be the thing, because this is what I was talking about. And you'll be able to see, I mentioned this way back when the original game first released. So this is probably going to be the first game where they reveal that uh, Futaba can fight just like everybody else. Or she might not fight just like everybody else, but I'm sure she'll be playable. Which, I really wish they would retire the Navigator, but whatever. Control. Relishing something as terrible as that. You're one rotten lady. Amusing words coming from some low life thieves who snuck into my secure facility. Well, I mean, we kind of had to do that, didn't we? But I'm glad you did. Now I can snatch up the rest of you all in one fell swoop. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> really? We're telling him to shut up? You don't get a vote in this. How do I not get a say here? Get ready. We're going to make them come to their senses. Ready. Do we have to fight while protecting Toshiro? That would be interesting. It would, uh, because so far the time limits have been, they've been kind of whatever, but I haven't really felt the, uh, strain of them. But if we get a... Let's have some fun, shall we? It is just the two of them. We are the servants of Lady Marie. We shall fulfill Lady Marie's every last wish. defeat Panthers, so we do have to fight the... The prep menu. Oh! Well, that's cool. Uh... Let's... If we can upgrade ourselves now, I'm feeling like that's gonna be a good idea. Dia, we haven't really needed to heal yet. Garula. Garula. Magaru. Sweeps away targets. I was holding out for Dia, but I think we'll be good on that. Slightly recovers HP for all allies after an all-out attack. Increases movement by two squares. Okay, so he moves farther when he's charged. What about us? Ranged attack increases by one square, and we can attack further away. Knocks down targets. We can shoot from far. We can shoot farther away. That's our range. Oh, that's our charge skill. Okay. Sweeps away targets. Does sound pretty useful. And plus, it's not. Oh my gosh, we'd only be able to use Garula one time. So let's definitely not go for that at the moment. All right. Uh. And from here, let's start the battle. Defeat Panther. 
Ooh, so we've got TNT barrels. Damn that Marie. She's forcing us to fight our own friends. Hmm? <gasps> that flag. Where have I seen it before? Hey, where do you think you're looking? Keep your eyes over here. Come on, let's have some fun and start the show. So, do we have to fight Panther directly, or can we just capture the flag? Panther. Oracle. What? Well, we have no choice but to fight back. If we hesitate, we'll be the ones who are taken out. Ah. If we knock them out, maybe they'll snap out of it. Let's see what we can do. Danger. Oh, watch out for those barrels. If you hit them with enough force, they'll explode. So it looks like we need to hit them with enough force. Explosive barrel. Explosive barrels will knock back all surrounding units after they take enough damage to blow up. Knocked back units will not only take damage, but will lose their resistance as well. Okay, cool. Let's go. We just gotta keep at it. Let's do our best to save Panther. Um, All right. and then she'll stand here, to do here, and we'll, well, I want to get closer, actually, let's, uh, have him... This will increase our ranged attack, and that's it. Mm. We have 35. We can only use Ahot twice, so I have to be cognizant of that fact. You're done. Nice, Joker. Leave it to me. All right, we're gonna end our turn for the rest of them, though. Twenty-one. Uh oh. Okay. But I think we still I still think we're onto something though. So she'll be able to down this guy. Yeah. Go ahead and get him. Um and then Let's do this. Yeah. I'm starting to get it now. Okay, we've got several enemies here. Ooh, nope. One of them is still not in our range. We'll be completely exposed. Do I believe we can take one hit? Actually, maybe I'm overthinking this. Because if we do this... Yeah, we got them right on the line. Okay. Yes! Let's get it! So we've only have we've only defeated the one that we've been attacking so far. But that's all good. We've got uh Get ready. And Morgana being charged and being able to move additional spaces is very nice. What if we hit this guy with a Garu? Of my other half. That'll just defeat him. Time for my persona. Okay. Persona Let's blow it up. Let's blow this up. Swept away. That just defeated him. Okay. Um. Ooh. Instead of that, 
Will I even get Buddy? Hold on. No, it, I don't think it will. And our gun is so freaking weak. Hmm. Wait, the enemies are... Okay, so the enemies are charging now too. I didn't notice that. I didn't think that was gonna kill. Okay, well. So, on. She has some sort of passive that allows her to... And we're burned now. So we definitely can't eat a second one of those. Alright. So she's set up. Let's go ahead and blow them away. We should be able to... We cannot. It's actually too far away. Okay, uh... I think Morgana... I don't think we should have attacked with Morgana. That might have been a bad idea. If he survives, that'll be... Ooh, a get him. Let's get it. Okay, so now you're down. Can we get any of them? No, I didn't. I handled this badly. Uh, Might as well gun him down. All right, will Morgana survive this turn? He did not. Okay, so... <laughs> it ain't looking too good. It ain't looking too good at all. Now, the only problem here is that we cannot triple threat. But we do want to try keeping... We want to try keeping her focus. Damn, you little brats. Skipper around all you like. But your attacks are pathetic. Can't you do something a little more fun? She looks totally unfazed. You don't think this is part of Marie's powers too? To make them forget even pain. Well, there's no way her body can handle something like that for long. She'll fall apart. Joker. We've got to save Panther fast. Stay calm. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um. Let's have him end his turn. Okay. Only eleven. 31. She like healing to full every time? Okay. Um. We can't get them both with an Aha. Can Arena. She can't attack them at all like that. Okay, and the Shining part is in. So, let's fire. Still in cover. Alright. So this ain't going too well so far. Okay, we're still in this. That was bad. Okay, uh, we might not still be in this, actually. Um, not being able to knock people out of cover. 
We're not gonna end the turn just yet. She'll actually duck back here. Okay. Healing. Yeah, that's some sort of. Ooh, about to light us up. Fifty-one. All right, with arena boosted, I won't lose this. We might not. We might not get to. She resists that. All right, yeah, this is uh, we are cooked actually. Um, she can only kill one of us at least. Okay, so the game it's not game over when we lose Joker. I was about to be very worried. Uh Can we just light her up? Okay. Is that it? Is that really all you can do? <laughs> that isn't nearly enough. You got to be kidding. She should have been knocked out by now. You're the ones who will be knocked out, face down in front of Lady Marie's flag. Flag? This is... It looks like the two of them are absorbing power from that flag. So that's the gimmick. Joker, can you target that flag? <laughs> nice try. The flag is a symbol of domination. It'll just keep coming back. Are you serious? Damn it, what are we supposed to do then? What if but if the flag's a symbol of domination, wouldn't targeting it... Okay. Talk about lucking out. Is it just Arena? Okay, I was about to say. Yeah. We didn't do too well. We had seven turns and no one was KO'd. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll be... <laughs> It could have been worse. We could have lost. Oh my gosh. Well, that's what I get for talking about the difficulty. These attacks of yours would barely hurt a fly. Was all that bravado just for show? Oh, it was. <laughs> we we won though, didn't we? Or maybe you're pulling your punches so you don't hurt your friends. Look, I'm wide open now. Why not strike me down? <laughs> Look what you're doing. Oh, yes. Keep calling out to your allies within us. Maybe the power of friendship will save them. Dang. She heard directly mocking that. I don't think we're going to be able to. So we're going to have to figure something else out then. That's not gonna happen. Ooh. Are you sure you can go on? There must be some way to escape. I don't know, dude. Getting on the floor and groveling does sound like a pretty good strategy right about now. Sorry to say, I don't think that's on the table. Lay down your arms and surrender. Whoa, I wasn't serious. Calm down, Toshiro. We may be confined here, but at least we'll have our lives. If they take us to Marie, she'll put us under her control. And then we won't have anything. But even if that's true, how do you expect this skirmish to play out? I don't care if it's brainwashing or domination. It's better than dying. Hey, it's Toshiro, right? Okay, she's about to talk some sense into this man. I definitely not over for us yet. As long as we have hope, then we fight. Even if we have to crawl our way to the end, we fight. When you refuse to stand up to injustice, you become complicit. Hey, she's spitting. As a politician, that probably hits hard too. Are you? 
all right, is she what? Because it's really, I really don't have a grasp on what their deal could possibly be. Maybe they know each other? Oh. It's time, finally. This is... Oh. Got him. If we stake our flag there, then we get to dominate. I thought she was going to awaken to her persona, though. this possible recruiting on and futaba before getting re, uh, ryuji Bear witness this banner shall drive our rebellion it's time for action the revolution is here well that's pretty cool though It looks like it transmogrified from her weapon, which again I thought was gonna be the Persona Awakening. Wait, we'll come back to that. Panther, Oracle. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they feel like crap. Oh, my head is pounding. Oh, good. Looks like that brought him back. I wonder if when we replay this mission, will we be able to use the two of them? against themselves we'll start guessing later right now we have to focus on escaping right i have no idea what's going on here but i have to agree with the catfishy thing <laughs> he called it a catfish i guess that's one way of putting it listen real well all right i am not a catfish <laughs> Oh, my, my apologies. I didn't realize I was mistaken. Hmm. An eel? What is he? <laughs> this guy. This, this guy. I'm not an eel either. What's wrong with your eyes? Just oh, pull it together and give us a hand with them. Ah, yes. Uh, allow me. All right. Let's move out. Yeah, let's return to our base and find out what we can find out. I'll look after these two while they recover. Would you mind leading us back to the hideout? Sure thing. Yes, let's get out of here. You lead the way. Okay, okay, I get it. Just follow me. So we've doubled our team then. Arena has acquired the unique skill Flag of Freedom. I guess from now on, we're going to have to use that in battle. We won't just get to watch a cutscene of us being successful. Unique skills. Unique skills are special skills that vary between party members. You can use a unique skill in battle once the voltage gauge is full. What's the voltage gauge? The voltage gauge raises whenever you attack or receive damage, and using a unique skill will expend it completely. Unique skills have been unlocked in the skill tree. Okay. Lady On and Futaba are resting upstairs. They'll be awake soon enough. Okay, so we might not be able to use them. Well, probably until the end of this scene, I guess. Next on our plate, we've got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, finding out what this dude's deal is. First, let's start off with you. All right, Toshiro. And for your own sake, I hope you don't turn out to be our enemy. I highly doubt it. Hang on now. Yeah, this dude doesn't have a duplicitous bone in his body when it comes to betraying people. Well, 
He's a politician, so maybe he can politically, but not here. I'm sure he's shooting straight. I understand you may be suspicious of me, but imagine how I feel. Firstly, what is this place? And who are you people? No, wait. Why is there a cafe in a place like this? So Toshiro is definitely from our world then. And why did you suddenly change appearances when you stepped inside? Uh, maybe try just going with the flow here. It's a lot to explain if you haven't played Persona 5 Royal. This is far beyond the flow. In the past half hour alone, I've witnessed 10 incidents where the laws of physics were outright defied. Yeah, he's definitely not from wherever Arena is from. No, actually, it's 11 if you count it. Oh, then there was... Uh, sounds like a no. Guess we should start from the top. Might as well. I'd be, well, after, after being done freaking out, anybody would be curious about what exactly is going on. Hmm, let's see. This world is somehow separate from my own, and controlled by a woman named Marie. So he is from our world. So you phantom thieves have teamed up with the rebel corps here to end her tyranny. Yeah, you got it. Make sense now? How the hell could I get that? I mean, it sounds like you got the gist of it. There's nothing really else left to it. I know. This has to be a dream. Or perhaps some dystopian organization is experimenting on constructing worlds directly in people's brains. That would be an interesting plot for an SMT game. We're not stuck in a dream or experiment. Okay. Time for you to answer our questions. Yeah, how'd you end up there? And why did she not take over your mind? Why did Marie have you locked up in her prison? Well, I was... I actually have no idea. So he just found himself here? Huh. <laughs> the first time we see him make that face, but yeah, that's how we're feeling. Not sure we buy that. I know what you're all thinking. Oh, we're all looking at him like that. I didn't realize. But I'm telling the truth. I just woke up in this world, then those monsters locked me up. But you remember your name and everything, right? Yes. Well, my name, I mean, other things I should remember seem to have escaped me. Other things like what, though? I know I'm a diet member, and a few other details here and there. There are these huge sections of my memory that are gone. It's rather unsettling, to say the least. So, I'm sure one of those sections of his memory are exactly what he was doing before he showed up here. You heard him. What's your take? Uh, I buy a story. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. He would, like, we've seen Lady Mario go crazy with brainwashing people. He's not brainwashed, so... There's no proof he's with Marie. We can't just toss him out on the street. Or dominating people, is I, what I should say. That's right. So just get me out of here as soon as possible. I'm not so stupid as to ask the phantom thieves to place their trust in someone like myself. Okay, so he, he knows us. He remembers us. Hang on. You know we're the phantom thieves? After the mess you've made over the last year? How could I not? Dang, they couldn't have erased that part of his memory? Especially your most recent fiasco. I remember that all too well. Well, you shouldn't have said that, bro, because now we might not be able to let you leave. Wow, even Toshiro knows who you are? Maybe the Phantom Thieves really are a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> a big deal. But uh, I think this is after everything. No, it's not. That won't happen for another few months. For better or worse, I'd have to agree. Breaking more laws than one can count. Sowing discord through all of society. Now hold on, that wasn't us specifically though. You may have your contingent of fans fawning over you, but I have nothing but this taste for your style of mayhem. Does this dude want our help or not? I can't believe you've been a gang of children this whole time. Hate the youth, huh? No! But regardless of the circumstances, 
cannot condone children engaging in illegal activities to rail against what they perceive as unjust authority figures. You sound like the exact kind of politician we go after. Uh, <laughs> right. Dude better tread carefully. Uh, apologies. Now is probably not the best time for this. There is some sense knocking around in that noggin after all. I'm not sure how you'll react to this, but I'd like to make a proposition. Man, I cannot think of anything this dude has to offer us. He's definitely like, is he going to say that he'll try to give us clemency once we get out of here? Because I doubt he'll be able to swing that. You phantom thieves are cooperating with the rebel corps to find a way back to the real world, correct? Yep, that's the case. That means we share the same goal. How about you let me join you in exchange for my aid? All right. He'll become yet another confidant. I don't really feel like arguing against it. What do you think, Arena? We've heard everything we need to hear. Now we just have to decide whether or not we believe him. I do. Hmm. And I think I'm going to believe him. Yeah. Everything he's experienced checks out more or less against what we've experienced too. We may not have forgotten events that transpired before coming here, but we've definitely forgotten things. Uh, we've forgotten personas and skills and all that kind of stuff. So with nothing like that to latch onto, it just affected him differently, seems like. I greatly appreciate it. And if you wind up double-crossing us, then we'll just deal with you the same way we'd handle any other traitor. Yeah, I'm liking Arena quite a bit. Quite the clever rebel, aren't you? Let's make it official. Welcome to the Rebel Corps, Toshiro. Happy to be aboard. My housekeeping skills should come in handy here. Housekeeping skills? Okay, so he'll uh, he'll serve Sojiro's function then, I guess. Serving up curry and coffee. Planning to just stick around here. Where else can he go? Come on. I hope we can pull it off at least. Um, we'll bring them back. Yeah, I know the two of us are definitely capable. I won't let it stress me. Well, it's the four of us now. Well, or the six of us? I'm assuming on oh, I guess on and Futaba are still gonna be upstairs recovering. Okay, so let's talk things out. The power of Arena. Hmm. Amazing. The revolution is here! Man, that was so cool, Arena! I sure wish you told us you had that power beforehand. I wouldn't have been nearly as worried. Oh, you mean the part with the flag? Hmm. That took me by surprise, too. I genuinely had no idea I could do that. Well, you sure saved us. Ah. Totally. If not for that stunt, we would have all been done for. Oh, it's not like I was trying to do that or anything. All right. But I do remember thinking very clearly, I refuse to lose. All of a sudden, the flag materialized in my hand and I kind of got lost in the moment. Whatever did the trick, it was a real gamble. Mm. Still, it was more than we could have asked for. Thanks to you, Lady Anna and the others are back to their senses. Once you planted that flag of yours, all the Legionnaires were totally done for. I think it's a safe bet that your flag has some kind of power that can override Marie's control. We found a real glimmer of hope in this place, Gein. Maria seems to be using flags of her own to maintain control of the area. However... So if we destroy her flags and replace them with arenas? Yes, that's right. Then the people who are under her control will be free, including your friends. Teach me how to do that. Hmm. I would if I could, but it kind of feels like this isn't exactly teachable. My thoughts exactly. It seems like only you can wield the power of that flag. That's it! Well, if that's true, then you can just leave the flag work to me. That's just part of our deal, right? If Marie's flags represent oppression and control of the people, then Ariana's flag must symbolize liberation and freedom. 
It's the perfect symbol for you. Hmm. Right. And I promise to do right by this flag and give my all in battle. Just like you guys. Listen. Anyways, let's go save the rest of the gang so we can figure out how to get back home. Ah. Sounds good to me. Let's get ready for the next operation. Party received 2 GP. So that's good. Every little bit helps. So... Velvet Room. I wonder if she's sorted things out here by now. Hopefully. And it seems like it. I deeply apologize. Oh, I guess not. As I mentioned before, the Velvet Room is not quite ready to meet your needs. There is no doubt of that the power of the Persona will be crucial to escaping your situation. However... Unfortunately, it appears that your special ability has changed its workings in some way. However, there is no need to worry. I will take these circumstances into account and make the necessary adjustments for you. A moment, please. When everything has been adequately prepared, I will call for you once more. Until then, though, I must ask for your patience. Alright. Report. View records. Hmm. Supplemental resources. In the report menu, you can read information on characters and key terminology, as well as view previously seen material in the image and movie sections. Okay, so it's a record hall. Uh, we're all good on that. Now, do we have anything new in the shops? Yes. All right. Um, I think we will... Hmm. Oh. I'm looking at these like I can't see. Make sure you're well prepared. Yeah, see, it's not... I don't think these are worth buying. Yeah, we'll still hold off on all that. Best of luck out there. It's... So we have enough for maybe... Oh! Phantom Judge attacks all targets in range and flicks down even if they are in cover. So that's our voltage skill, our unique skill. Okay, I think we're going to be able to go ahead and just skip all of these for right now. At least for him. Blows away targets in range. If we have a whole lot of people who are stuck in one particular area, that'll probably be for the best. And hers... Places flag that breaks cover of nearby enemies and heals nearby allies at end of each turn. I don't think I've played enough to be able to, like, really think of good moves for these. But for the time being... Talk with the group. And where's Buddy Boy? Hmm, I guess he's not serving anything up just yet. But the only thing left to do is to move on. Hey, you two. Feeling any better yet? So, hopefully they are. Ugh, I feel like my brain's still rebooting. But other than that, I'm fine. Uh, sorry to put you through all that. It's not their fault. That being said, does anyone have any idea what's going on? There is going to be quite a bit to catch them up on. Hey, hey is it still safe to be here? They could get really nasty again. True. From his perspective, things could still get wild. He doesn't really know anything about them other than the fact that they did torture him a little bit. What's with that guy whispering to Joker over there? Uh, where to start? Yeah, we should catch them up. So, this guy is... Alrighty, yet another mess we've stumbled into. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger, doesn't it? Huh, I suppose I'd feel the same if I were you. Although, I'd really appreciate it if you were willing to join our cause. Why wouldn't they? Well, they were, like, obviously they're going to be on board unless there's, well, that's not even worth it. Because I was going to say unless there's something that will prevent them from doing so, but I doubt it. You bet we're willing. Since you 
help to free us from Marie, we've got to return the favor. Really? You two will be a huge boost to our forces. Thank you. Basically doubling the amount of people we have access to. Uh, the one problem is... Oh, was I right on the money? Don't tell me they can't use their personas for some reason. I've been filled in on the situation. It sounds like you've had a rough time here. Not worse than my own, though. <laughs> well, I guess it's from a certain perspective, maybe. Are we supposed to trust this guy? <laughs> I don't know if I can picture him having our backs. He can't fight. He seems like a pretty big Phantom Thieves hater. Do you really need another politician throwing you under the bus? <laughs> Good point. But he doesn't seem all that bad. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna, even if he doesn't end up being a party member, I'm sure he's an okay enough dude. There must be no limit to her depravity. Mind controlling teenagers, making them wear absurd clothing. I would think of what she put on you in particular. <laughs> hey, I'm allowed to slug him, right? Just this once. Uh, make it count. You're a real rowdy bunch, aren't you? Uh, no fighting in the hideout, though. Please. Um, maybe we should just move on. Yeah, there's still stuff to get taken care of, ultimately. At this point, we really ought to figure out our next steps. The Rebel Corps' primary objective is overthrowing Marie's oppressive regime. And definitely weakening the number of pawns she has on her side is conducive to that. As for the Phantom Thieves, you're trying to rescue your friends and find a way back to your own world, right? Right. Unfortunately... We don't have a single solid lead either. Our only option so far is to search Marie's castle. My bad, my finger slipped, but it's all good. So my memory of it's pretty fuzzy, but when I was under Marie's control, I think I saw a weird-looking door somewhere in the back of her throne room. Something tells me instead of taking us back, that's just gonna take us to the second area. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. No, a lead like that is way better than having nothing to go on. Yeah, I can't argue with that. For now, let's try to find that door. There's a chance it'll take us back home. Sounds like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie is an inevitability at this point. Yeah, as soon as she showed up, we were basically locked in. Fiddling with our heads and making us follow orders. Hope she's ready for some sweet revenge. <laughs> Right, we're gonna make that jerk pay. Wait, if reaching the door is our only goal, then surely there's no need for full-scale combat. Well, how else do you expect us to get everybody back? Or she's not just gonna let us walk past her. If we merely need to cross the threshold, perhaps uh, just a flying cross chop or something. Yeah, good luck with that, dude. Great, glad that settles things. Hey, don't just blow off my concerns with a grin. <laughs> so I was thinking for our next move. Straight up ignoring him. Our top priority should probably still be rescuing the remaining Phantom Thieves from Marie. We'll need as many allies as possible to take her down. We appreciate it. Now if only we had some sort of clue as to where they might be. I'm sure An and Futaba can come in handy there yet again. I've got some Rebel Scouts poking around town right now. Oh, no arena's got it handled. We can hammer out our next course of action once they've reported back. Ooh, great work there, Captain. Make it happen. Nice. The rest of us will start prepping for combat. We should be ready to roll out at a moment's notice. Okay, excellent. Yeah! So, they're gonna join us and we're gonna be able to see what they can do. Ooh, this is gonna be Lavenza. Eh? Is that your phone ringing? You can't get calls in the metaverse. What's going on? Uh, I have no clue. Hello. It is Lavenza. Thank you for answering. This is Lavenza calling. Miss Lavenza? 
must be surprised. But considering the unusual situation we're in... I wonder if this points to the fact that we're not actually in anything resembling the metaverse, or maybe the rules just changed. I have made use of your smart telephone so that we may speak. First, I apologize for the wait. Preparations are finally complete on this end. Golden. Oh. Uh, she's got it handled. Yeah. Uh, Miss Lavenza. <sighs> it was nothing. Please come to the Velvet Room immediately. See you soon. So we're gonna finally learn. I have no idea what's going on there. We're gonna finally learn how fusion works. Miss Lavenza summoning you, you should probably go see what that's about. Okay. We got that gear thing, and I'm certain that's what it's gonna be, because the in the Persona Q the Persona Q2, they were films. I think I remember seeing they were films. It's been a while since I played that. I should replay it one uh, one of these days. But let's go ahead and not worry about that. Hit up the velvet room. And then see what we can see, find out what we can find out. I have been awaiting you. You look like you have something you wish to say. What seems to be the matter? Better late than never. Uh, why is that thing banged up? All who disregard instructions must be punished. No matter the transgressor. You know what? She's speaking facts. Let's not delve any further into that. Does anyone take issue with that? Now, there is but one reason for your being summoned here. I have completed the arrangements necessary for your persona needs. Considering we've only got the one gear in our sen, I wonder if they're going to make us fuse him away again. Since the power of the wild card has been hampered somehow, you will have to make do with this process. Perhaps a demonstration would be simplest. Yes, please do. I shall guide you through the process to ensure your comprehension. Before that, though, one small question. Have you sighted anything resembling this during your battles? I was right on the money. The gear is the only thing it could have been. I sure have. Oh, you mean one of these? Well then, this shall be easier to explain than I anticipated. Within these lies some sort of power that only exists in this world. I will now show you how to use this power to create new personas. Maybe it's going to be a one-to-one -one situation then. One gear, one persona. Fuse new personas. I am immediately proven wrong. Persona fusion. Persona fusion allows you to sacrifice multiple personas in your possession to create a new one. Personas created through fusion inherit a single skill from one of their base personas. Note that you are unable to create any personas with a higher level than your current Phantom Thieves level. Fuse by result. Now then. Wait, what? When did we get the rest of these? Okay, well. Uh. Pixie's got shock. We don't have access to that. Uh, let's make. When the heck did we get these? Okay, well, we're gonna fuse away Cat She into Genbu. Defense Master, Automatic Raku Kage at the start of battle. Warrior's Camaraderie, increases damage dealt when ally is in an adjacent square. Increases damage dealt when target is attacked from behind. We'll probably be doing that persona, more often. Wait just a moment. So, how does...
fused Gembu. So we've had these things for how long? Okay, we're not going to fuse anymore. Because I don't know if we can take more than three people into battle. I wonder if we've made things more difficult on ourselves than we needed to by just not, because... Alright, well, whatever. While you are no longer able to switch between different personas... So it is indeed Persona Q rules. This new power is available not only to yourself, but to your compatriots as well. Golden. <laughs> okay, and we needed this menu to be able to do it, so we haven't been able to before now. Sub-personas. Joker and the other Phantom Thieves can equip personas acquired through various means as their sub-personas. Not only does this grant units access to their sub-persona skills, it also improves their HP, SP, and attack power for both melee and ranged weapons. So we'll become, uh, we'll get a flat increase to all of our power. Sub-personas can be equipped either in the Velvet Room or in the Personas option in the prep menu. Oh, no, we probably haven't been able to do this before now, then. What would you like to do? Oh, right, and she can't use them yet. Uh, let's give ourselves Pixie. And then we'll give Morgana Genbu. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Velvet Room services. In the Velvet Room, you may partake in Persona Fusion, Please. access the Persona Compendium, and forge or disassemble ranged up. weapons. Details regarding each function are always available in the explanations. Please take advantage of these should you Please. seek additional information. What do you think of that? She definitely has been working. Uh, you're the best. Oh no, that was great, thanks. It is simply my duty as one who rules over power. So long as the flame of your resolve continues to burn, I will be by your side. Please return should you ever find yourself in need of more power. Will do. Is that okay? Disassemble you wish weapon. To dismantle a weapon. Which one will you choose? Probably because we have it equipped. Which weapon do you choose? Oh, this is selling it. It is selling them. Are you okay. Ready to take your leave? Then I have a final gift before you do. There is no doubt that you will face many battles in this kingdom where you found yourself. This will probably some be something unique to this game. While I may have been roped into the situation as well, it is an unfortunate fact that I am unable to provide you my usual services. Therefore, I am providing you with something in an attempt to make up for this failure. Please take a look at your smart telephone. So we have a new... Wait, what is... Whenever you have need for my assistance, please make use of that application. Don't tell me we'll be able to access the Velvet Room mid-mission. It will bring you right to me immediately. Okay, so we're not beholden to this cafe hideout. enemy is right before your eyes my aid is available to you that's insane okay well when well isn't that convenient do you think so i had never created something of that nature before but i believe it will work without issue yeah I trust her i hope as much at least but this means now, I shall wish you the best of luck. Being able to change things up on the fly like that uh, means we'll probably have some pretty insane stuff thrown at us. I will be here as always should you need my assistance. Until then, take care. Until next time. All right. 
So with that all set, I really want to, because what I'm most interested in, in seeing is in seeing if Futaba is really playable now. I see. A sub persona, huh? Yeah, because they don't remember the events of Persona Q2. So this is going to be their first. Yeah, yeah. Persona Q2 has already happened by now, and they don't remember those events. In other words, while you can't switch between Personas at will like before, you can choose one Persona to equip in addition to Arsene. And you're not the only one. The rest of us can equip a sub-Persona in this world too! I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of fun having multiple Personas too. Which means that all of us can borrow the powers of other Personas! This ability is amazing! More than double our firepower! Seems like I can't use the sub persona ability since I don't have a persona in the first place. Which I am genuinely surprised about. I have no doubt she'll eventually get one, but they're really burying the lead on that. That's a shame. It would have been so cool to use it. Don't worry, Arena. Your time is coming. Don't feel too bad. You're more than on par with us when it comes to fighting. We'll be counting on you as usual, Arena. Yes, I promise to fulfill my end of the deal. Anyway, now that we have Miss Lavenza's support, we can rest easy. Yeah, anytime, anywhere. We should go see her if we ever need help with our new power. So, with that all set, let's chat it up. Panther and Oracle awaken. Lavenza's aid. Miss Arena, thanks so much for saving us. Ah. You can just call me Arena. I'm not big on formalities. Uh. Nice to meet you. My name is Futaba Sakura. I should thank you, Captain Arena, for saving me. So, uh, thank you. Yeah. You gotta be kidding. What the heck? Weren't you just fine a minute ago? These kinds of conversations are stressful, all right? Don't underestimate the, uh, don't underestimate the anxiety of a former shut-in. What if... Although I definitely feel a lot better now that we're here. I mean, it looks just like LeBlanc. It even comes complete with a Gein and a Mona. Huh? Mona? That's not me! Did your glasses fog up or something? Okay, okay. Oh, but there is an, un an uncanny resemblance. I mean, you're both cute. Not you too, Lady On. No. But cute, you say? <laughs> At any rate, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, On and Futaba. It's a real relief to gain such strong allies for our cause. We can do this. So first things first, I suggest we team up to go save the rest of your friends. Listen. Uh, about that. How should we go about organizing our team, exactly? I hope that we can increase our party members to four. I mean, it's definitely a good thing to have a larger squad, but we still need to decide who goes where during combat. Uh... Let's all just pile in there. Nah. I wouldn't recommend such a large formation for our current mission. Hiding places are pretty limited around here. I'd recommend three squad members at the most. Dang. That way, if anyone on the front lines goes down, we can just swap them out with someone else. Oh, I get it. Kinda like passing the baton to the next person. So three on the front lines and the rest on standby. How's that sound, Gein? We can give it a shot. Great, we can focus where it hurts with a strike team and finish this conflict as efficiently as possible. I understand. A decent strategy's finally opened up for the rebellion and it's all thanks to you phantom thieves. I'll let your leader decide exactly who to bring into battle. Just FYI, I'm spec to assist from behind the scenes. No, okay, so we still can't bring her in. 
I'm not the hands-on type when it comes to combat, but I can still help out by analyzing enemies and providing navigation. I'm happy being on the front lines myself. I was born for this kind of action. I may not have a ton of stamina at the moment, but Carmen can burn anything to a crisp. Awesome. I'll be sure to do my best to keep up with you all. We can do this. Gein, let's keep this ball rolling. Oh, and we're gonna too. Hmm? Hey! Hello, I'm right here! Were you blowing me off on purpose? So Fujiba still can't fight, so that sucks. Alright, party. Let's go to skills actually. Oh! They're not. Well, I guess we probably have to go into the mission that specifically unlock them. But we're going to go ahead and save that for next time. Definitely join me then for more Persona 5 Tactica. Bye for now, guys.